All right, uh, the deals, they're still out there, too. Uh, that's one thing that Bob kind of touched on here, the backdrop that looks very good. Charlie Gasparino has the latest on one that's getting a good deal of attention, Charlie. Right. You know, last week, Neil, it looked like it was a positive for the Sinclair uh, decision uh, deal to buy the Tribune Networks, making it one of the biggest media powerhouses in the country. We had heard from Sinclair that they had essentially tacit DOJ antitrust approval for it. But today, the deal is stopped short in its tracks. Some people are saying it's all but dead because what we have now is the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, opposing the deal, saying it has serious, serious concerns about the way the deal is structured and whether it violates, uh, violates law. So let's just back up a little bit. You, could, you can have DOJ approval and FCC disapproval and the deal not going through. You can have what we essentially have right now. FCC saying it's opposed to it. DOJ backing off any official announcement our sources are saying about approving the deal. We hear if, if the DOJ had to decide today, it'd be a jump ball. Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, this deal is dead for now. Now, here's the next step. There's going to be a hearing. Whenever the FCC schedules a hearing amid serious doubts for, the, for a deal, it's usually not good news. A lot of those, a lot of these deals die in that black black hole of an FCC administrative hearing. So this is not good news for the deal for for uh, Sinclair Tribune. And let's be real clear what Sinclair was trying to do by buying these Tribune stations. They would create one of the biggest media powerhouses in the country, dominating mostly local news with conservative commentary as well. They would have had penetration into 70 percent of all U.S. households if this deal went through. It faced massive amounts of opposition from consumer groups, from good left of center, good government groups, from some competitors, uh, that they didn't like the way the deal was structured, that Sinclair was basically getting around caps in ownership caps on how many, uh, how many uh, stations they can own through sort of finagling. Any way you put it, FCC has basically put the gabosh on this thing until further notice, unless Sinclair changes the terms of this deal tremendously. Uh, this is a big story. Uh, it's not as big as Vladimir Putin uh, hanging out with Donald Trump and, and breaking bread, but it is big if you follow media and how news is consumed and delivered to consumers. Back to you, Neil.